Literally everything I have today is thanks to the law of assumption. Basically the law of assumption can also be summarized as fake it until you make it. Like you have to put out that frequency of what you want. And once I lived in the end, I just imagined myself, you have to be completely delusional. Like you just have to live in your own fantasy world. Ignore your circumstance. This is how it's gonna happen for you. Like I lived in my house before I lived in it. I was the successful YouTuber before I had my almost 600,000 subscribers. Like all of this happened in my mind first. I had the amazing fulfilling career in my mind before I was actually living it, right? You have to become a new person inside because your outer reality is just a mirror of what's going on inside of you. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share how you can change your life with the law of assumption. I'm going to share with you the exact tips that you can use to rapidly shift your life and your entire existence with the law of assumption. So stick to the end of this video to find out how. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button subscribe button and the bell right next to it on this channel we talk about the law of assumption and basically how you can create your best life also give this video a thumbs up it helps me a lot and comment down below what you want to manifest next i love hearing about you guys so once you know how this exactly works you will be unstoppable nothing will be out of your reach because you'll have bulletproof confidence that this works and that you can achieve anything you set your mind to so basically the law of assumption has completely changed my life. Literally everything I have today is thanks to the law of assumption. Basically the law of assumption can also be summarized as fake it until you make it. Like you have to put out that frequency of what you want. And once I lived in the end, I just imagined myself, you have to be completely delusional. Like you just have to live in your own fantasy world. Ignore your circumstance. This is how it's gonna happen for you. Like I lived in my house before I lived in it. I was the successful YouTuber before I had my almost 600,000 subscribers. Like all of this happened in my mind first. I had the amazing fulfilling career in my mind before I was actually living it, right? So all of those things, you have to become a new person inside because your outer reality is just a mirror of what's going on inside of you. There's not just one way to apply it, okay? There's many different ways that you can use the law of assumption. But for the sake of this video, I am just going to talk about Basically what the law already says, assuming, meaning assuming that you already have your desire. And the way that you do that is by tapping into the quantum field and broadcasting the frequency of your desires, okay? Because we cannot reach the frequency of, we cannot reach our desires by remaining who we are. We literally have to become a different person. And don't worry, this doesn't have to be hard. When I say you have to become a different person, what I mean by that is that you literally have to shift your vibrational coordinates to match the vibration of your desire. Like I always say, if you're tuning into a radio station, right? You are not going to hear the radio station of 107 by being tuned into the radio station of 87, right? So you have to tune that dial to the frequency of 107 to receive the transmission of that radio station. That doesn't mean that all of the different radio stations don't broadcast at the same time. They actually all exist at the same time, just like different realities all exist at the same time for you. But you get to choose which one you tap into. The problem with human beings is that we are such habitual beings. We are such programmed computers from early childhood on that we believe that this is how reality is. We believe that Newtonian physics like this, things are set in stone, this is just how it is. And so we have to reprogram ourselves to really believe that things can be different and that even though something has been the same for the past, I don't know, 10 or 20 years or 30 years, you get to shift that. Because in truth, in the quantum field, which we now know that we live in a quantum reality, right? The thing is, if you don't believe in it, quantum physics only exists if you believe in it, okay? And 
If you don't believe that that reality can be real for you, then you won't attract it. If you are very cynical and just always in lack and complaining, that's what you're going to perpetuate because that's th those are the thoughts that you are entertaining. So it is really a matter of concentration and focus and tuning into the frequency of your desires. What does the person that you want to become, how does she or he behave? How does she act? What decisions does she make? What thoughts is that version of you entertaining, right? And how does it feel? How would close your eyes right now? How would it feel if you had your desire right now? That's the frequency that you want to be in 24 seven. And I know it's a challenge, especially if your circumstances show the opposite, but circumstances really do not matter. We know in quantum physics that we can affect matter. In fact, I was just going through Joe Dispenza's book, Supernatural, um, Becoming Supernatural again. And he mentioned this experiment where, you know, when chicks are born, uh, they imprint on whatever human be uh, whatever animal or human being they see first, right? And so they try this experiment with a robot. Um, and so the chicks imprinted on the robot when they got born. And the robot was programmed to go either way, like 50%, like either way, uh, like left and right, something like that. It was programmed to be in a very specific patterns. But they noticed that just the intention of the chicks, after the chicks had born, the robot started to show patterns of moving more towards the chicks, which is crazy because that literally means that the chicks actually imprint, actually affected the matter of the robot. So if a little thing as a chick with a tiny brain can impact matter, then what can you do, right? So circumstances really don't matter. And once you really know that, once you start to manifest things, that's why I always say start small. Start with the smaller things because if you start only with the huge big things, you'll just end up, because they sometimes take more time to manifest, you can end up discouraged. So start small because you'll have that belief that, oh, it's easy to manifest that. You won't have any resistance towards it, right? And as you manifest those smaller things, start building up bigger and bigger and bigger. Using the law of assumption, you literally can change your life by tapping into the frequency of who you already are now. And here are some techniques. The way that you can do this is using sats. You can fall asleep with the wish fulfilled. Um, basically, you get into a state where you're very drowsy, where your subconscious is wide open. And you just imagine a scene where that thing that you want has already happened, right? Live in the end. Be in the end. How would you feel? What scents are around you? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What are you smelling? We do these exercises a lot on my channel. And you guys have seen amazing results just by using these exercises. Another one is to affirm, just keep telling yourself over and over every single day how you want your reality to be. You want less stress in your life? Start telling yourself, my life is so stress-free. Like I have so much peace in my life. My life is so stress-free. My life is amazing. Um, you want to try the lucky girl syndrome. Just tell yourself, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I always get what I want. Things always work out for me. I'm the luckiest person in the world. It's really easy to go like on a rampage like that. If you want, I can do a rampage video with affirmations. Um, but those are basically the techniques that you can use. There are many different ones. You can also script if that gets you into a vibe. And then for the bigger manifestations, what I recommend is reprogramming your subconscious mind. Because if on some subconscious level, your mind believes that it's not possible or that it's dangerous for you, right? Like um, if you had an experience that made you believe that having money is not safe for you or that having a certain relationship or a certain level of success is unsafe for you, if your nervous system is not calibrated to that amount of success, then you won't be able to have it because your body is amazing. It always works for you. And if on a subconscious level, it's like, eh, no red flag, like alarm bells going off, this is danger. And I'm saying on a subconscious level here, this is not conscious, then you can do as much visualizing, as much techniques that you want. It won't happen. And if you have watched this far, I highly invite you to join my Limitless community where we go deep into reprogramming your mind so you can actually attract those bigger goals to you with ease. With all that being said, I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video.